Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm Wang Jianmin, you can call me Jimmy. Uh, I worked in uh, uh, SCS, I'm a software engineer. SCS is a leading research institute in China focused on computer sciences. But today I will not talk about some complicated research achievement. Uh, I'm excited to talk about with you, uh, talk about Open Euler. Uh, that I'm very proud of, uh, to be a part of it in the past three years. Uh, I will share. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will share with you uh, uh, six stories that I experienced in Open Euler community, and uh, to see how communication play a crucial role on it. That's from uh, beginning. It's December 2019. Uh, the Open Euler team come to Beijing uh, to ISCS to talk about uh, cooperation and uh, the vision of Open Euler. But uh, uh, it's not a beautiful vision or some good goal to ma make me decide to join the community. It's because the uh, resonance of engineer. Uh, you know, as an engineer, uh, especially Linux engineer, when we start the laptop, the first thing we do is not to click mouse or to touch screen. Yeah, my daughter, six year old, she loves to touch the screen, the monitor. And uh, we prefer to use keyboard to open a console window with pure black background and enter command, right? VI or Emacs. Yeah, so uh, when I see the same action from uh, engineer of OpenYOLA, I see, hmm, Pierce. Same guy. So mm, I think is this type of resonance to let me enjoy do, doing contribution to Open Euler and also let us have a better communication in the in the commu community. So Open Euler is just three years old. Uh, what's the vision of Open Euler? Open Euler is want to be a reliable open source operating system that unleashes the vast certified um, computing power for a sustainable future. As we know, we learn from university uh, operating system manage software and uh, hardware resources. It's about uh, 15 years ago when I start to do some research on OS. My teacher uh, Chen Rong uh, told us operating system is uh, an accumulation of a historical function. In the past 50 years, uh, we have a huge and uh, rapid development uh, uh, about uh, software and. Uh, uh, hardware uh, from first uh, batching, it's batching processing, multitasking to Intel uh, mobile and now to the AI, right? Uh, but uh, we think, uh, so the operating system must follow the development. I like the traditional operating system focused on uh, supporting the standardized application on particular hardware device. We think nowadays operating system should play a more important role on uh, new hardware technology of cloud computing, edge computing, uh, embedded computing, and also computing with GPU and, and, and MPU to unleash device diversified computing for users. So it's a, I think it's a big goal. It's a huge goal. Uh, a, a lot of things we need to do. First thing we need to do is about architecture. Uh, I think this will be familiar. We have many architecture today uh, in the world. And in Open Euler, we are not only support more uh, uh, architectures, it will be very glad that we have uh, engineers from CPU manufacturer, like Intel, like Huenpeng, to come uh, join this community and uh, work together to integrate the newest feature of uh, CPU into operating system. Open Eula. So uh, this is the one thing uh, we need to do a lot of things about it. But uh, we will later we will have more chances to talk about device-fight computing. But uh, let's talk about another one. It's a very important one. Upstream. Upstream first is the most uh, principle uh, in Open Eula community, and all because uh, upstream project is uh, why uh, Open Eula and the other Linux distribution could ex exist. So we, we pay a lot of attention on relationship with upstream. It uh, involves contribution 
uh, integration and the support. Uh, for example, for contribution, uh, the kernel SIG in OpenEULA, uh, many of them are from Huawei kernel team. They did uh, the most uh, contribution to Linux 5.10 development. And uh, such as Rix 5 SIG, uh, they are my colleagues from ISAS. Uh, they also did uh, a lot of uh, contribution for upstream project like uh, Mozilla or LLVM to support the risk file. So uh, this is what our engineers are doing uh, such thing. And uh, about integration, one year ago, uh, our maintainers uh, worked together with uh, Linaro community and OpenStack community to finish the integration between OpenStack and OpenEULA. And we also have iOS 6. Yeah, we'd like to do more things about the integration between them. And we also want to uh, also uh, provide support to upstream community, like provide some machine resources of ARM or under RISC-5 to upstream project to, to uh, optimize. So this is uh, communication with upstream community. And, uh, the fourth story is about uh, uh, communication in this community. Two weeks ago, I was in Tianjin, China. Uh, we have a TC meeting. Uh, we talk. Uh, we have a long talk about uh, what's the next kernel version of next uh, open oil long-term uh, support edition. Uh, it looks like a simple choice, but uh, we need to talk with six from kernel, uh, compiler, or release, and we also have. Uh, uh, engineers from Intel to talk about their plan, their their thought, and uh, we also have engineer from other distribution like OpenSUSE and OpenKitty to provide their uh, suggestion for us. We review our timeline, review our compatibility policy, and the coming feature, and also users feedback. Uh, it looks like a simple choice, but uh, before we to decide. Uh, before we uh, make the decision, the more important is communication because because communication makes us uh, let uh, everyone know each other's uh, thought, each other's needs, and uh, coordinate our plan and identify potential issues. So I think communication makes this community more reliable and sustainable. sustainable. So uh, based on this community communication in community, we have many engineer-driven innovative uh, projects uh, around the kernel, around robotics, around uh, 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 such as the development, flexible develop uh, deployment, and uh, DevOps. And this is, and then we talk about file one. Yeah, uh, file one. Do I have students here? Students, yeah, I think I met uh, some students uh, yesterday in the walking. Yeah, so this is for you. Uh, this is for the students. Is our future of open source? Uh, this story from also is from three years ago. Uh, I it's exactly in April uh, 2020. Uh, at that time, I stayed in Singapore, and my colleague Xu Sheng and uh, a friend Ma Quanyi, uh, they, they were in China. We talk on, in an online meeting. We talk about how to involve more students in open source project. And so we think about the idea of the program of Summer of Code. Uh, so we talk with our friends in some uh, open source project, and they were also positive. So we draft a plan in two days, submit to our boss in SAS uh, and Open Yola. So luckily, uh, at that time, SAS just run a plan called the Open Source Promotion Plan. So same, uh, same goes. So luckily, the program is approved uh, smoothly. So uh, uh, from that, every year, we will sponsor uh, students to do contribution for uh, open source project. I'm, proud, uh, I'm very proud about this one. Uh, from the first year, we set the, this program global because we shouldn't uh, uh, close the door of communication Otherwise, we uh, instead uh, we should uh, encourage our students and engineers to talk with international friends. And here, I will give my thanks to uh, some open source community, Kai Yuan Shi, Sagamon Fort, and ALS Beijing. And I'm happy to 
C, uh, the founder of Kensha Ted, also is here. And uh, th th thanks, organizer. Actually, this is my first time uh, meet uh, meeting face to time, face to face with with Ted and uh, also other founders of the community. Thanks. And uh, last year, 2020. 2022, with about 124 community and 100 students uh, from 19 uh, countries, uh, including uh, two students from Singapore. And last week, we just announced this year we will support 133 uh, community, and uh, also we see some familiar logs in this summit. Yeah. So welcome more uh, students and uh, projects to join some OSPP. Okay, let's talk about the last uh, one, the last story. Yeah, it's about uh, my research institute. So why did the ISAS join uh, join open source community? Because we believe open source have become the cornerstone of software development. We also believe when we participated. Uh, closely in open source community, contribute to open source and promote open source, we will have more uh, good uh, research achievement around open source. Recently, we, uh, we focused on open source software supply chain and the risk of bio related uh, research. Hope if you are interested about it, let's, let's talk about it. And uh, so after three years, uh, this slide is my favorite because there are so many numbers. Yeah, and uh, after three years, uh, Open Euler, we have uh, 800 organization members in this community, and we also have 106 uh, special interest group in this community. And uh, this number represents the powers of uh, Open Euler. So, and uh, we also pleased to know that the uh, in the past three years, uh, there are many companies they got um, uh, rapid visiting growth based on open user uh, distribution. And uh, I hope and I believe that uh, the uh, further commercial uh, achievements will promote uh, the development of open user and open source. Yeah, so we got the answer how to build an operating system community for all scenario solutions. Uh, communication. Uh, we talk with upstream to help us create innovative project. And uh, luckily, thanks organize thanks for Asia. Uh, in these three days, we have many opportunity to uh, talk with you about Open Euler. This afternoon, Dr. Xiong Wei, uh, he is one of the technical leaders in our uh, Open Euler community. She will talk more about uh, diversified computing. And we also have uh, three uh, senior engineers from Open Eula uh, to share with you about uh, uh, innov innovative projects in Open Eula. So uh, this is our contact information. And uh, as a TC member, luckily, uh, this year I will spend the most of the time in Singapore. We hope we can establish local group and organize some uh, more technology events. Singapore is a great, uh, has a great diverse culture. And uh, I think, I believe Open Eula also can do a great job on diversif diversifying computer, computing. So uh, this is my LinkedIn, welcome to connect. Uh, so that's all, and uh, may the force of open source be with us. Thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs>